over the last few years, and generally over the last 10 years, the last decades, and even the last 100 years and beyond that, um, things have been normalized, and more particularly in the last few years. Well, some examples, or one example that I'm just going to share, I don't want to make this video too long, uh, example, uh, people speaking about mental health, and more specifically men speaking about mental health, is positive, people are able to speak up, open up, share things, not only that, but they are able to maybe then them, themselves realize that they might have a mental health issue, which will may help them deal with and understand what they're going through and also help themselves to help themselves. Um, and then also maybe that could make it easy for them to help others and understand others better who have mental health problems. But other things that are normalized just because or everything must be normalized, it seems like, are not so positive. Like, example, why should we normalize OnlyFans? People doing stuff on OnlyFans, and it's a job, it's a choice. Like, we don't, if you want to do that, you do that. But it's not something that we should, we should be normalizing. A lot of it is very, very similar to being a prostitute in a brothel. A lot of it is similar, and many people will agree. So why should we normalize that? We shouldn't normalize that. So say we, so, so, some things have been normalized, some things do not need to be normalized. Like if you want to do those things, you do those things. You don't need to normalize it. Here's an example of someone saying, day two, normalizing makeup for men in London. Who, what is the the primary use of makeup? And who, who is it target to, targeted towards? 99.9% of both men and women would agree that it's for women. And women use it to beautify themselves for whatever reasons. Whatever reasons. Um, generally, men do not... They might... Uh, shave, they might um, um, groom themselves and do other things, but they do not use makeup. So, why t I want to know why this individual or others feel the need that something that women do, why does a man need to do it? And same with something a man specifically for a man, why do men do it? And this is not about transgender people, this is generally this individual. I don't think he's transgender, he, uh, as far as I'm aware, I can tell. But it seems like he wants to make things that women do uh, uh, main is uh, a main is, is should be done by men as team. Okay, we are two separate genders. Except that, why do you need to bring something that I w that women do for men and the same, same thing? Why would a woman bring something that man does? Why do they want to do it? Appreciate both of them, and we have our own things. Um. Uh, men or uh, women have makeup and that's fine men don't need to have makeup you don't need to normalize uh, makeup for men because it's not something that men do if you want to do that then that is your choice and if someone attacks you for that then that's a different matter then you can speak out and say x y and z whatever you want to say to defend yourself but you don't need to say that you need to normalize it for men i don't think this is a positive um changing the the makeup and no pun intended changing the makeup of the man um and most forget men most women and men do not would agree that we don't need to normalize something like this maybe people who want to, who, who want to make money from makeup would agree with you but generally i don't feel like something like this should be um normalized or pushed to be normalized